Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about how we create sound with the micro bit. And you should be able to see from the top picture that I've got my headphones lying there with the crocodile clips attached. And that's what I'm going to be using. In this case, the headphones are going to be working as speakers. I'm going to be coding using Moo, but you can also do the same code using python.microbit.org or using classroom.microbit if that's being shared to you by a teacher or if you're the teacher setting it up. I'm going to show you this video to start with because this show talks you through how I set it up um, and how I've connected the crocodile clips to the micro bit. Okay guys, I'm just going to show you how to connect a micro bit up to the set of um, speakers or headphones. Now, the speakers are better because there's no uh, volume control on the microphone. And if you're not careful, what you end up with is uh, ear damaging the loud sounds. But I don't have a pair of speakers with me, so I'm going to use the headphones, but I'm going to use them as speakers. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them there. The key thing here is I need this 3.5 mil jack. I need some way of attaching that. You can see there's no socket, so what I'm going to use here are crocodile clips. Um, now, some of the kits include those. Sometimes they include them in slightly different ways depending on where you've got your kit from. These are just a cheap set of Amazon. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the zero terminal there on the micro bit to the edge here. And then I'm going to connect the ground on the micro bit. So we've got a nice rubber casing on it, but on the downside of the rubber case, it's quite difficult to rotate it. Anyway, so connect that to the ground on there. So you should see that we've now got that attached to there. And again on here, that's now going to go. Now most of these have got kind of like three connections. Mine's got four on because it's got built-in microphones, so I'm going to ignore that. So it's the third one. So it's the first and third one that we need to attach to on the uh, speaker microphone set. And then if we try and play a sound through this, so if I just flash something that's includes some sound from the micro bit, what we should get, as you should now be able to hear, is sound coming out of these headphones. And they're working at the moment as external speakers, okay? And obviously you can see the attachments working through the setup we've got now. Okay, guys, I'm just Okay, now, obviously what I haven't shown you there is how we're actually going to code that. So that's what we're going to have a go at now. And to do this, we're going to import the microbit module like we did last time, but we're also going to import the music module. So I'm just going to quickly flick across so that I've got Moo open on here. Okay, and then within Moo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from microbit. The nice thing here is it will also complete if I press tab, import, and I'm going to use the wildcard to bring the whole of the function. Then I'm going to import the music section. And if I now flash that to the micro bit, that, that will work, but it's not going to do anything. I haven't told it to do anything. So what we now need to do is we need to plan our first sound. Now, the nice thing with the micro bit setup is it includes a load of melodies that are already set there for you. So what we can do is we can use the command music.play, and then we can use music and we can put call in one of the tunes that's already existing and that gives us a good start to get ourselves uh, set up with this so I'm just going to pull in one of those so I'm going to say import music and then from there I'm going to do music.play so I just pull this across so you can see the list okay then I can choose any of them and just for the sake of this one I'm going to make it simple I'm just going to use music.python okay now if I flash that you should see Or rather here and obviously if I change Python to something like blues and then I do the flash again And this is all good, and obviously you can pull one after another. So you could say music.play, and then we could add in, I don't know, chase or something. And these could be part of a game that you were creating, and we can build these all in and extend them. So it plays through one, and then it plays through another one, or it's part of a loop. 
but it is somewhat limited because you're limited by the number of uh, ones you've already got. You can see that's flipped to chase now. So what we want to do is we want to have a go at creating our own. And to do that, like that finish. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new list, and that's a list that includes um, the note the octave so this is a c in the fourth octave and it's got a duration of four that's a d in the fourth octave and that's got a duration of four and we can code that in so again if i do the same thing i'm not going to do the whole of this just to keep this simple i'm going to take out this bit now because we don't need that okay and instead just pause across so you guys get a little bit more space to see what i'm doing okay so i'm going to write tune it's a name, you could call it anything you want, okay? And I'm gonna say that's a C4, okay? And then I'm gonna have a, remember the speech marks around these, a D4, all separated by commas. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that in the example above, there is an error, okay? And then we're gonna have another D4, and rather than making you sit and watch me type out an endless string of uh, letters and numbers, I'm going to stop at that point. Now, if I flash that, I won't get an error on here, but nor will it play, because we haven't called this yet. So let's just have a look at this. So to call it, we use music.play, and then we can call the name of the list in, so tune. However, we can actually do something else first, and that's because... The micro bit will actually remember the octave and duration that you code in. So if we put C4 by 4, we don't need to do the same on each additional one. Okay, that can then be D4 and E4 and C4 without having to repeat it up to the point we change it. Okay, so that becomes G4 by 8 and then that's G4 by F4 by 4. Um, and then obviously we do need to. So again, I'm just going to flip back onto my coding page here so you guys can see this. And what I'm saying here is we don't need to do this bit. We can simplify this. Cut down the amount of writing we're going to do. And then the key thing here is we now need to actually run that tune. So to make this happen, we're going to go music.play. And because I called this tune, I'm going to call it tune here. And now when I press flash, we get the notes repeating. And obviously if we then do something clever, like we put these in a while true loop, and indent them and flash it. It will go on pretty much forever. Um, and obviously if we had a second one on there, we could make that happen afterwards. I am just going to remove that before it uh, drives us completely mad. Okay, so that should now stop playing and again if I want that to happen again I can just put the music dot play tune in okay and this is a really basic start but it shows you what can be done and we could have lots of lists all with different tunes being called up at different times in different ways right what next now I think the key thing here is try creating your own tune so you create a list try putting the different notes in Try flashing it to the micro bit, see if it works. If that works, try and find a famous tune and try and code that in. Start with a short one or try with a long one if you're feeling ambitious. Try adding more than one list, okay, with each list being a different tune. So you could have one tune playing and then another. If you can do that, then combine the lists with the buttons. So if you press A, what do you get? What If you press B, what do you get? What happens if you press A, B? Can you combine it with the gestures? So if you shake it, it comes up with a different sound. In theory, you could work with friends to try and make an orchestra a bit. Or you could have a go at trying to create something slightly different and see how you can modify this. But the key point here is that we're going to need to have the headphones or speakers attached with crocodile clips or other types of wiring. We're going to need to make sure that we've got um, the m m music module imported, that we've created a list with the sounds in, and that we're then playing those lists. At which point you should be able to have um, a working micro bit with some sound output coming from it.